Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my labor and delivery story. Um, it's a crazy, it's not that crazy. Are you like being a paparazzi? <laughs> um, I just feel like I'm going to just like run through this because you've heard one labor and delivery story, you've heard them all. Mom pushes the baby out or mom gets the baby cut out and then that's the baby, the baby's here, blah blah blah. But <laughs> if you guys have not seen my actual labor and delivery video definitely go check that out the link will be down below in the description box or in this eye you know here over here just click on it and then click the video that says labor and delivery alrighty so um, it all started December 15th I had a doctor's appointment and actually you know what let me go back to December 14th okay December 14th I was on the birthing ball uh, my family had came over to visit they were um, super excited you know they're like you know talking about the future blah 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 we're having a good old time at our house, chilling. I'm on the birthing ball, getting in, you know, bouncing up and down, trying to get the baby out. And um, I sat on the ball for a little bit too long. Um, you guys know I have, I have SPD, um, pelvic griddle pain. Like, I have a tilted pelvis now, so everything's out of whack. So I sat on the ball for a little bit too long, not even realizing it. Um, so when everyone left, I was in a lot of pain, excruciating pain. Um, I just, you know, went into the bedroom and I laid down and I just tried to... I believe I took a Tylenol or ibuprofen. One of them. I took something to make the pain not so bad, but it, it, that usually doesn't do anything for me, anyways. Um, I yeah, I laid on the bed, and then me and Derek tried to go to sleep. I could not sleep because I couldn't move. I was in excruciating, excruciating pain. So I had Derek call uh, my my doctor or the doctor who was on call, and I you know told them like I can't do this. I'm in excruciating pain. I had a doc. I have. I told them I have a doctor's appointment, um, December fifteenth, the following morning, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to go because I'm not gonna be able to move out of bed. That's how bad the pain was. I couldn't move. I told them that I'm gonna go to the emergency room. I'm gonna call nine one one, and they're gonna have to get me on a stretcher because I can't walk down the stairs physically. That's how serious this pain was. So the doctors told me uh, to get in the shower, try to relax, and I'm like. I can't even move in the bed, let alone lift my foot, let alone get off of the bed, walk to the bathroom, lift my leg up, get into the shower, lift my other leg up to get into the shower, and then stand there and shower. And then she's like, well, if you can't do that, take a bath and relax. Like, I can't even sit down. Like, who, who's really going to try to sit down when they can barely move? I'll be stuck in the bathtub. So I was like, I can't do that. So she was like, all right, so if you come in, I'm going to give you morphine and it's going to like make you out of whack and you're going to have to stay here and have the baby. So I was like, mm, no, I'm not doing that because I'm not, one, I'm not laboring in a hospital because I'll be there forever. This is how I'm thinking. So um, I'll be there forever. Like, I don't know how many centimeters I was dilated. The last time we had checked, I was only one. So I was like, no, thank you. And, um. I was like, I'll just stay home and I'll just deal with it until tomorrow morning. It's only like eight hours. I have to stay awake. Um, so I just stayed awake. And then the following morning, I called my mom and I told her, you know, what was going on. Um, I told her that I'll probably most likely have to call some type of emergency helpline to get me down the stairs to get me on a stretcher or something. At this point, I was on uh, crutches. I didn't think I, I don't think I updated you guys on me being on crutches, but this is how bad the SPD got. Um, so my mom came over and she helped me get dressed and stuff like that. Yeah, she actually helped me get dressed and everything like that. And um, if you guys can imagine, my mom recently just had surgery. And um, my mom came over to help me. Big old me, pregnant me. I'm going to insert a picture of how big I got at the end of this video. And you guys are going to be like, holy shh, that's how big I got. So my mom, <laughs> my mom was like trying to help me. It was just like a, a funny picture. But she helped me. Then she actually um, let me drive in her car because her car is a lot smaller than our car. Like I don't have to step into it. Um, so she, like I drove with her in her car and then Derek. Oh no, Derek came into my mom's car too. So yeah, um, my mom drove me to my doctor's appointment and Derek came in. My mom ran and got coffee. Um, for us and then you know I'm in the doctor's office and she's like hey you know what's going on I heard last night was really bad blah 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 and I'm like yeah like I'm in excruciating pain I need some type of medicine like you guys have to give me something for the pain I, like I can't keep going on like this um 
she was like you know I completely understand but it's just round ligament pain or whatever they call it like this is just it is what it is you kind of just have to deal with it so that's when Derek was like no she's not just dealing with this like you guys need to get this baby out he was eight pounds this is when we thought he was eight pounds already like they, they couldn't really get a proper um, weight for him when he was in the womb. Obviously, they really don't know. It's just a guess. But um, they said he was 8 pounds. So in our heads, we're like, this is an 8-pound baby. On my hips, it's like I'm in excruciating pain, so this can't be good. Like, just get him out. He's already 39 weeks. What are we waiting for? Derek was pissed. He, like, went off on the lady a little bit. The lady was like, I completely understand. Let me check her first and see how far along dilated she is. So she checked me, and when she checked me, like, I had to open up my legs. Oh, my gosh. When you have SPD, it, hope, it hurts to open your legs, to close your legs all the way, to step. Like, it just hurt. Everything hurts. So when she did that, then she went inside. Oh, my God. I was, like, screaming out. I had laryngitis. <laughs> I had laryngitis. If you guys didn't, like I said, if you guys didn't see the um, labor and delivery, definitely go check that out because I had no voice. Um, so, so I'm like screaming out like, <laughs> and she's like, okay, okay, okay. Like we have to figure something out because if you can't even open your legs and let me check you now, then, you know, it's going to be hard for you to give birth. Hello. Have I not been saying this, this whole pregnancy? I'm like, yes, I know. This is why I wanted him out a long time ago. Cause I don't want a C-section and it's going to be hard for me to push him out. If he's already eight pounds, he's a big old baby, right? So. Whatever, long story short, not really long story short because we still have to go through labor and delivery. She checked me out three centimeters dilated. So because Derek went off on her, she said, hold on guys, stay here. I'll be right back. She went out, we like fill up papers or something like that. And she came back in and she said, you have two options. You could um, go across the street right now where the hospital is right across the street and we can induce you or you can come back tomorrow and we can induce you. But there's no guarantee tomorrow that there'll be a spot available for you. If somebody else goes into labor, then you're shit out of luck. You're gonna be pregnant until the baby comes. So I looked at Derek, I'm like, what do you wanna do? And I'm like, you know what, I really don't even care because you're not carrying this baby. So I'm like, yes, I wanna go across the street, I need to get him out now. So we went, I told my mom, like we went across the street, They're, all right, they set me up and everything, you know, with the heart monitors and stuff like that. And um, she gave me Pitocin. I instantly started contracting. I was already contracting though because she, when she checked me, um, it like did something to my insides and I just started contracting and stuff like that. So I was already like, uh, uh. my mom came, Janelle came, Jay's came, a lot of people came to visit Maya, Derek's grandmother, Derek's mom, my dad was there. Um, so yeah, a lot of people were there in and out. Um, my labor wasn't that bad because they gave me laughing gas, I guess is what they call it. And I guess I was saying some bizarre stuff. I'll insert some of the stuff that I was saying here. You know what I keep thinking about? What? Why are you like being a paparazzi? So who can't get your pants? Hello. <laughs> yeah, that was some pretty bad stuff. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Like, I don't know why I said something about Kanye West like that's just I don't know <laughs> I don't know why that popped to my head but they also said that I was saying like um there's like pink aluminum foil in jail and I'm tired of seeing all these zoo animals and stuff like that when a doctor came in to break my water I asked her if she was giving me stitches I don't really remember getting the epidural um Derek said I handled it very well but he also said the guy was really good at what he was doing um, which made it a lot easier for me this time around because with Amaya, I was screaming out in pain. She messed up. She had to do it twice, so it hurt twice as bad. Here I am. I was like, I don't know how many centimeters dilated I was at this point. Probably 10, but I was like, to my nurse, my nurse is, she was banging, like, I need to go give her a gift or whatever. Her name is Anna, or Anna, she's whatever one you prefer. Um, she was banging. She was like, I was like, if I have to push, can I push? Because every single time a contraction came, I felt like I needed to push. So she was like, um, no, don't push. She was like, you know what, let me just check you. Let me just see how far along dilated you are, whatever. We're thinking the baby's going to come at 7 o'clock at night. Here it is, 5 o'clock. We're like, oh, you know, he's not coming. We're chilling, laughing, blah, blah, blah. So she checks me, and I'm like, 
She's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So she runs outside. She's like, baby, come in room 12. We need all the doctors we can get, blah, blah, blah. Of course, my husband left the room to go. I don't know where he went. I think he went outside to talk to my dad or something like that. And they're like, oh, get the, get the dad, get the dad, blah, blah, blah. So everyone's like running around scrambling trying to get him and there's like interns coming in There's nurses and everybody coming in and the contractions are coming. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god Like this hurts so bad because I have the SPD um, I'm like my tailbone my tailbone. I don't know if in the video you can hear me saying like my tailbone There was so much pressure. I thought my tailbone was gonna break. I don't know if it's really called a tailbone, but Whatever is in my ass. I felt like it was gonna explode so um they just kept telling me, don't push, breathe through it, don't push, breathe through it. It's easier said than done. I'm just going to say that. When you need to get the baby out, you need to get the baby out. So, uh, I pushed a few times. They said, like, he was on, like, two minutes and, like, 45 seconds or something like that. Um, I pushed a few times, and he was out. They did have to raise the chair up, so I was more, like, at an angle than laying flat um, because... They wanted gravity to like do its thing, so I didn't have to get a C-section, and he didn't get like he didn't get stuck stuck. Um, his shoulders did get stuck for a little bit, and there was an intern who was actually um, delivering him. I had no idea that was gonna happen, but whatever. Um, and my doctor like kind of pushed her out the way, and she was like, "Here, let me get it." You can see that in the video too. <laughs> and they like pushed my legs up while I was sitting up. If it makes sense. Um, I'll try to figure out the video so you guys could kind of see it better. Yeah, so that was my crazy labor and delivery story, even though it wasn't that crazy. But if you guys want to watch it, click on the video down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll be vlogging now. Hey, bye.